Hi and welcome to this Sin6 hosting video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use a program called KSAR and a uh, service called Sysstat on your VPS to monitor your resource, uh, resource usage, uh, CPU, uh, RAM usage, uh, data transfer, all that stuff. Um, you'll be able to pull data to your desktop through this application and go back um, up to 30 days at any time and see what your load was, your usage for that time. Um, first thing we need to do is install Java on your PC. If you don't already have that, you need to go to the Java website. Um, I was going to walk you through doing that, but uh, java.com is actually down right now, so I'll just assume you know how to do that. Um, once you get Java installed and working, uh, I want you to go ahead and visit the KSAR website. Uh, it looks like this, and the URL um, for anybody that needs that is right here. Um, but before you download KSAR, what you're going to need to do is install a service called Sysstat on your VPS. And Sysstat um, is really low resource usage. You won't even notice it's running. But what it does is it continuously logs um, your resources, uh, the usage, so you'll have something to download to KSAR. Um, to install it, what you need to do is run yum install sysstat on your, v uh, on your VPS. If you don't know how to do that, just um, uh, submit a ticket to us and we'll do that for you. Um, if you do, uh, go ahead and install it yourself. You'll want to edit the sysstat config file. Uh, this is the command you use for that. And you'll change the log time from 7 days to 30 days. That way you'll have a full month of logs to go back and look at if you need them. Um, so once you've got Java running and you've installed Sysstat uh, on your VPS or you've had us do it, uh, go ahead and go to the KSAR website right here and you'll want to download KSAR. It's a uh, Java program, so you click download uh, locally. Uh, you'll save it to your desktop, unzip it. Once you do, uh, you'll have a program, or you'll have a folder that looks like this. Go into it, and you'll want to uh, you'll want to click on the executable jar file right here. If you have um, if you have Java installed correctly, uh, you're going to get a program that pulls up looks like this. And what you'll need to do next is connect to your server to download the files. To do that, you're going to go over to the data. Um, link right here, click on launch SSH command. Uh, just like PuTTY um, or any other SSH uh, client, you're going to put in your uh, username at your uh, host name. You can get rid of the port unless you change it. And you're going to want to run the uh, login as root. So root at whatever your host name is right here, or you can use the IP address. Uh, click yes. It's going to log in. It's first. It's going to ask you uh, if you're sure you want to continue. It'll always ask you this. Just always click yes. Uh, after you've clicked yes, it's going to ask you for your root password. Just put that in and log in. Um, the very first thing that's going to pop up is going to be this uh, SSH command. This command is how you uh, pull the logs from the uh, VPS. By default it's going to have SAR-A in there. That command basically means pull the last 24 hours of data. If for some reason you're wanting to go back and view other days, this command right here, SAR-A-F-SA and then the XX, that's the day of the month you want to pull. So if you want to pull the 10th of uh, this month, for whatever reason, you replace that with one zero. If you want to do the seventh of the month, it would be zero seven. Um, Twenty-fifth of the month, two five. You get the idea. Anyway, you run that. It'll pull um, the full 24 hours for that particular day. And once you do that, this is what it looks like. It says the import is finished. Now this is just a test server we have. There's not a lot of information here, but there's enough for you to take a look. Um, all of these right here are logged resources. Um, 
for instance, take a look at the CPU load here. You'll see all the way from midnight until um, about 9 o'clock p.m. for the day I'm running this on. You can see the load um, average for uh, 1 minute, 5 minute, 15 minutes, uh, like you would see from the uh, shell if you were to log in. Uh, say you want to look at the memory usage. You can see this VPS is uh, using about 190 megabytes of RAM, has almost 2 gigs free. Um, CPU, you can view all the cores if you want, uh, one at a time to see what the usage wa uh, was at that particular time. Processes, um, interface, this is where you'd uh, view your transfer, your packet transfer. You'll want to um, pull the VENet0 for your interface and then interface traffic. Uh, again, you can see there's no usage, uh, no bandwidth transfer here at all because it's just a test server we use. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see this is a really useful program. This will let you go back and see if you were having problems at a certain time of day. Um, maybe you can track down the exact time and then compare them to your server logs to see what was causing that problem. Um, we use this on every single one of uh, the servers in our network. It's a wonderful tool. I highly recommend uh, everyone use this. Um, again, if you have any questions or problems, just submit a ticket to us. Um, we'll be happy to set it up for you. The only thing you have to do is watch this tutorial, follow the instructions, and make sure you have Java installed so you can actually run KSAR. Um, but that's it. Thanks uh, a lot for watching the tutorial, and again, let us know if you have any questions.